Hey everyone, today I'm showing you everything I know about scenting and coloring bath salt. I've made chapters, so feel free to skip around. You can choose whichever salt that you want, but I definitely find Epsom to be the easiest to work with. Always use a base to scent the salts. This will keep them dry and clump free and will also allow you to add more fragrance. Use whichever base that you want. They all work, but they are not equal. Natrasorb holds the most fragrance oil. Directions say to add half its weight, but you can easily add 1.5 times its weight in fragrance. Tapioca flour holds approximately one third of its weight and the starch holds approximately one fourth of its weight. So basically, in one tablespoon of Natrasorb, there's seven grams of fragrance oil. There's two grams in tapioca flour and two grams in tapioca starch. So once your base is ready, scoop it up, don't pack it, and then remove extra from the top. You don't have to weigh it. For heavily scented salts, I found that one tablespoon coats a half a cup of salts perfectly. If you add more than this, salts will clump. Don't forget to add a bit of polysorbate 80 to the base or you could add it directly to the salts. Basically this will help micas and fragrance oil to disperse evenly in the water. I found a wonderful way to recycle colored salts. Simply spray alcohol on them to loosen the color a bit and then mix with the other salts. Spray and rub between hands until the color is completely even. This is a great way to merge colors, fix colors, lighten colors, and to also create custom colors that may be very difficult to achieve otherwise. add scented base before or during coloring. If you add it after, it will dull the colors. There are three ways to color salts with liquid color, powder color, or mica, or you can add both. If you choose liquid colorant, gel is best. Mica is much easier and quicker than liquid colors, but this is up to you. I normally do both. Neon mica is an extremely concentrated matte color powder. It has no sparkle or shimmer. It only takes a little bit to color salts. You can also pre-color salts with liquid colorant, then coat them with neon mica for a very intense color. Jewel tone salts reflect more than one color and they are so much fun. The color combinations are endless. To make jewel tone salt, simply add a different colored mica to pre-colored salts. The mica coating can be single tone, jewel, metallic, sparkly, etc. This is up to you. Personally, I like to add the opposite color of the salts. When making jewel tone salts, let your creativity run wild. You'll be surprised at what you can and do create. Sometimes it's fantastic, and other times it's like, what? What is that? Oh well, still pretty though. Mm -hmm. 
Here are some jewel tone micas. Jewel tone mica has more than one color. Most often the base will be one color and different particles in the mica shine a different color in certain light. Or it will have a base color with multicolored glittery sparkles. So sorry, glittery things have to be out of focus in order to see them sparkle. But these salts are so very pretty. Quick tip, don't use glitter for this. It won't work like you think and it will not look good. Only use glittery micas. To make sparkling salts, simply mix one or more sparkling glittering micas into pre-colored salts. The mica does not have to match. Here are some of the most beautiful sparkling and glittery micas that I have. I definitely wanted to share a few of them, but it was really hard choosing the top 10, but you really can't go wrong with any of these. My top three are probably Magic Lake, Warm Space, and Chameleon. The Chameleon Green is definitely my favorite. It's just, it's on a whole different level as far as sparkle and glitter goes, but it does have a major issue in that it's only sold in a set and not separately. To make dark salts, add a few drops of color and a couple drops of black. Then coat salt with micas that are dark and or are rich in color. Quick tip, you can use activated charcoal for color as well. salts are subtle and mellow. They have a soft pearl shimmer, mild colors, and a faint sparkle. I coated the pearl salts with inner reference micas, which comes in five colors. Red, gold, green, blue, and violet. Since the pearl micas are muted in color, I recommend pre-coloring salts with liquid colorant, but only with a drop or two for a pastel base color. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in this project, you'll find helpful tips in the description and the supply list at the bottom. And if you're interested in more creative bath inspiration, you should subscribe. 
Don't miss out on my latest bath videos where you'll find unique ideas and fun bath projects.